Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome back to the Alchemist Code. I'm going to try and do my run of Dark Units on Extra Dungeon 1 Plus. And obviously I'm not going to use any, like, free play units. There's plenty of people on YouTube that does that. I'm just here to play the game. Obviously, I'm just pretty much like you guys. Just use anything I have to my disposal. But, alright, let's get into it. So this is going to be Kite quite a messy run for myself I've been in here in and out so I could use Anastasia here but I'm not going to like there is a strat that I want to try with her just because this person has uh, this move too but there's also a strat that I want to try with another one of, one of this character let's go in and do this run so I've been thinking back and forth of how I could do this run with these two. And I think I may have it. So first things first. Oh, well, I didn't even show you guys what my missions were going for. Obviously, I don't really care about the missions or anything. I never really do. Because there's plenty of other missions that are going to come to me. And plus, I have a lot of things I need to farm this event. Which are pretty crucial to me. <laughs> Uh, like Flamel's stage, I need to get his stuff before he disappears. I would get Dalga's, but eh, Dalga's not really on my list. Alright. Alright, let me just show you guys the missions. Dark units with a mercenary and two blows. Two blows is actually pretty straightforward and easy. Um, Right here, this preemie will block this door. And so will this Dark Knight. So you gotta try and outspeed him. But here's the thing. This preemie, you can actually trick him from getting in front of this door. By putting this character right here and going over here using this items. If you guys don't have these items, it's it's from like an old event. I think it was from the um, Fate Day Night event. Still have a little bit of them. Haven't really been using them quite often. So this is gonna help me with this stage. Alright, here goes the preemies. Obviously, I don't care about this preemie. I'm doing something completely different over here. I needed that preemie to move, though. Alright. So the reason I needed that preemie to move is just because this character's um, jump ability, she can hit all three of these guys. The preemie was sitting right here. Which I try not to hit the premiums because just because I'll summon like more annoying mandrakes just to deal with, and I don't have time to be dealing with that and be getting triggered. So we're gonna try and speed her up so she can get over to the side. Let's see if this works. It's my first time trying to strat, so you know, <laughs> don't at me. <laughs> All right, she goes down. That's that's just fine. She's not really one of our characters that I want up right now. Just these two. Alright, just poison has been going on right now. Uh, let's see, where is he? So I can sit right here. And this is what I mean about she can just dive two characters. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you can only do it right here. Down here... I think it's a little bit more tricky. Yeah, you only hit one. So if you're going to use her for the two kill run, this would probably be the ideal spot you want to be in. Oh, wait, he stepped right there. Alright, so I'm just gonna kill this guy. Ah, RNG. She dodged. That sucked. That blind is actually really annoying. You gotta be careful around it. As long as we got that dude out of the way, I'm I think I'm fine. So obviously I don't want the knight coming in. Mm 
But if anything, I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna walk over here, do this, get rid of the knowing blind, that's gonna make our life a lot difficult. Yeah. Because the blind is actually really annoying when it comes to trying to kill these two. Normally the archer is the one who dodges. And you chose to... Okay, that's the first. Well, that's actually gonna screw us over by a lot, actually. Yeah, that's annoying. Alright, let's do this. We should be able to get the two kills now that we're not blind. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We're just gonna poke Kilia twice. And there we go, got the two kills. Now we gotta deal with Kilia. Now we got delay on us, that's gonna be a huge issue because then it's just gonna say screw your whole turns and everything. But we're blocking the door, so you know they can't be like too much of a pest. But I can do one thing. And that is get out of this room. Obviously I'm gonna do this, get rid of those effects. Another item from um Face Day Night event. Yeah, go ahead, use it. That's fine. I just don't want the delay on us. Uh, I can't do, really do anything right here because I can't give her an item right here when she's standing there. So, yeah, that's quite the issue. Which does suck. But we're going to come over here and give this to him then. Just so we can keep him alive just a little bit longer. Are you going to overlock him? Go for it. Do I still have Diaz right there? Let's go ahead and... Quicken her again. Or does she have her Quicken still on? I don't think she does. Okay, no, she doesn't have anything on. And there we go with the delay again. Delay is so annoying. Let's just say that now. Obviously, I'm trying to keep Killier from moving. I'm just keeping him at bay. Until he decides to use his skills. There we go. Over here, get some jewels. So we do our next dive attack. Now, I'm pretty sure the knight's gonna kill us, unfortunately. Unless she can dodge, but I don't think she is. Yeah, it takes a while for that thing to proc, which really does suck and puts us in a terrible situation all the time. Yeah, and with the delay, Kilia's gonna outspeed everyone. Ah, man, delay is just like the worst stat to get on this. And killing her, obviously, is crucial. So we know to do that now. But you guys can see the like amazing progress I've made from last time. But yeah, we pretty much lost this run thanks to this little shit. Just pretty much giving him quicken. Which is like the most random thing. But if I keep doing this run, I'm gonna run out of um I'm gonna run out of those little items. Which is gonna suck. Then I'm gonna bring like a well, actually I don't think we have a chronomancer in Darks that I know of. Even if we did, it's gonna be like really slow. Nope, stop it. This one. Alright, so we got this strat down. But I I like to use the um, ultimate ability because it does like a crap ton of damage. Or the master ability. 
All right, let's see, let's see. What can we do here? Sadly, this is all my dark units. I just started working on Zahar, so yeah. Her slowly getting up there. Really doesn't matter at the moment. This character does have Merchant, but she has to be level 75 for it, so she's completely useless to me right now. So, yeah. <laughs> As you guys can see, not a very good dark roster right now, unfortunately. Until I get Zahar and Anastasia up, but... Now I have to work on Light Team real soon. This character might be getting worked on real soon. Just because of how good she is for Light Team. Or this one. Oh, and Cannon herself. But I want to save my Light Shards, so yeah, that won't be happening. Alright. Alright, let's see, let's see. Get some jewels here. Let's try and do this a little bit quick. Like always, we're going to try the same strat from the last one. Yeah, you can only carry five of these, by the way. So I need to start curing the blind before we take, like, leaps. Because that's the main issue that we're going to get in. Okay, that premium prime finally moved out the way. We can come over here. Do this. That's fine. Archer won't die, but she will. If I could reach that Mandrake from here, I'd be so happy. But I don't think I can. Hold on. Let me try something. Oh, actually. Whoa. Okay, I didn't realize I could do that. Hold on. We can get rid of this bastard right now. I didn't realize that until now. You can actually get rid of those things off the bat. So what is the consequence for killing them, though? That's the real question. Because obviously if you kill the Mandrakes, something else has to happen, right? Actually, no. What? Okay, that was... Interesting. <laughs> Alright. That works for me. Obviously, we can still get the whole two-kill thing. But it's kind of a little risky to go for it right now. But... We should be able to do it. Cool. Alright. So, right here... I'm actually going to just attack here. You have to aim back here, because if you hit right here, it's just going to hit him. I learned that the hard way, and it... I was so triggered. <laughs> Obviously, the premies don't do like a lot of damage, but they do paralyze, so that's also annoying. Boom. Two kills done. No more annoying Mandrakes. We're pretty much in a good spot. We have to hurry up and get Archer's turn or her turn. Alright, he's dead. So now we gotta focus on Killian, like, right now. So he's definitely gonna come in and try to do something really annoying. I can guarantee it. So what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna block the door. Uh, don't worry about it, because I have, like, a strat. Just for her blocking the door. Wait, what? I was about to say, can I not get on them? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wake her up. The only thing that's annoying about the premies is the um, paralyze. Alright, he's gonna hit right there, that's fine. Alright, dude, I'm gonna need some jewels from you, obviously. 
Seems like you can kill these guys pretty easy. see so obviously I'm going to need to heal here I don't know what the hell that was was that a mouse yeah I think that's the mouse that normally summons yeah there he is that's fine that's fine that's very fine actually now we can poke the hell out of Kilia. I'm gonna move right here just because I'm pretty sure he can still come in from that. Hold on. No, right here. Thank you. So if you have this character or have a friend with this character, you can just poke down the uh, Mandrakes. If you don't have both, then hey, it'll be a little bit slower, but you'll eventually get there. There he is. He walked in. You can't attack anybody, though. So, what I'm going to do here, obviously, is I can kill the knight. But, I can also beat the shit out of Kilia. Thank God. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't see this strat working. But, we got it. Surprisingly. And that's my run. The first run. Yay! Only took me 17 minutes <laughs> and we're done with that thank god now the light team you guys saw is going to be a lot more difficult for me because i don't really have any good light units so i'm not going to do that one obviously because that one is pretty much a lost cost <laughs> yeah that was not going to be on my list for a while but obviously we did it without a mercenary we can do this with a mercenary now a full win team could be easy for me not really sure yet. Where are my wins at? So obviously I got Thigis going on. Uh, let's go ahead and go with... Oh yeah. Uh, well, I was going to show something. I could go with Balt. We have a decent Balt friend here too. And he does have the win armor. So we could go for that. Or we can go for this character for the extra damage. Or we can go for this for the extra harassment. A lot of choices we can go with. But Vault does have a longer range, so I'm going to use him in this run. And we're going to see how that goes. So yeah, you guys are all going to see some of my runs here. So the full win team is the only thing I care about right now. This is going to be an issue, but I probably could get him situated with the Balts, maybe, so we can use Sand Dragon. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but we're going to see. Oh, I can also use Igneous too, just for the extra damage. Uh-huh. I might do a rerun with Igneous and Squad if I can't get the um, three people. And we might run like a buffer, maybe? Or we'll probably do the run separately from this when it comes to one team. Yeah, we could just harass these guys right off the bat. Obviously, you can temple if you have enough for it. But otherwise, I could just sweep here. Alright, go ahead. Start putting stats on and stuff. All I'm really worried about are the robots. Which I need to get out there fast for. I could swap the rats. Now that I think about it. I actually could swap the rats. If there was a swap option, you know. If 
You're just gonna do this. I was about to say, I think she's in the way. That's fine. That's fine. Not too, too worried about it. We have plenty of turns. We also have Ryder Yomi to go out and hunt them down. Two rats will stay in front of us, though. So first things first, we're obviously going to overclock you. Uh, this character can be charmed. You guys saw it in my last run. Ah, oh, that would have been so perfect. These guys are so lined up, too. That's unfortunate. But this fat ass is in the way, like always. Alright, we'll have one of the rats out of the way. Who's that on? Okay, that's on her. Obviously, they're going to be doing that crap. Holy crap, that's annoying, actually. Oh, actually, hold up. What? No, this way. Special? <laughs> ah, darn. If only I could charge up right now. And he's gonna move. They're both gonna move. That sucks. But it's fine. It's fine. Let next turn, I'll be able to do it. Alright, let's ignore these guys. No, that's the wrong one. Is it this? No, that's not it. Where is it? There it is. Oh, actually, Lucian outsped them. What? That's weird, but all right. I'll take that. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. Well, we missed our opportunity. Because one of these guys moved... And it's too risky to like do this now dude that sucks we had a good opportunity to get three. Oh, i killed god damn it i just realized what i did i didn't realize what i did i feel like i want to do a rerun but eh, it's fine all right who's the strongest we can one shot you without it I think we have plenty of time. But wherever she's casting, she needs to stop because last time we did this run, judgment was an issue. Let's go speed her up. No. No, game. Game. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Obviously, I sped her up twice just in case that was the right one. Alright, so the last one is on Vault. Which we can just go over here and finish, actually. Not really co too concerned about the two... Oh, well, about the three kills. Just because I know I can easily do it now. Oh, actually. Ah, oh, I don't have it. I don't have the... Um, jewels for it. That sucks. 
Like, we have the perfect area right here just for that. And I'll end up killing this guy, so I gotta go over here and punch this guy in his throat. His robotic throat. Alright. So now, where are you guys gonna move? I might need to start moving people real soon. Alright, I'm gonna start weakening a few people. Obviously, I'm gonna need people to move out the way. I thought they are gonna give us a tan chance to uh, heal. So, here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna move right here, and she's gonna target one of these guys. Pretty sure it's gonna be her. Unfortunately. Oh, nope. It's nobody. I just want to move everybody out of the way. Just in case we get, like, a Sand Dragon potential. Alright, guys, start moving. No! Okay, thank God you didn't kill. I was so worried. I was just like, oh, dear God, no, please don't. Okay, he's obviously going to go that way if I kill him. So I might kill this guy and wait for these guys to come in. But then again, these idiots like to hit. So I'm going to start working on over here. Thank you. Go for it. Sorry, I can't charm, sir. All right. Ah, you chose to go right there. Come on, dude. Don't be that guy. See, that's a lot, that's a lot better. Now, up. Oh, God damn it, Lucian. Why? Why do you? Why do you wish to counter, sir? You you annoy me a lot, actually. It kind of sucks that that thing gets 100%. Oh. <laughs> Actually, we could do this with Igneous. I don't think about it. Why am I so bent out of shape? We can still do it with Igneous because of Igneous uh, Master Ability. I just need to move Lucian out of the way before he does something insane. Something I don't need in my life. High blood pressure, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and move down here. Alright, yeah, he's gonna move. You moved all the way. Come on, dude. Really? Was that necessary? Okay, let's see how much damage that would have done. Oh, I don't even have enough jewels. What up? Thanks, buddy. Dude, I'm pretty sure you killed? Okay, no. You're good. Uh, no, we're gonna try and block you from going any further. Obviously, I want to get you out of here as fast as possible, but... <sighs> oh, the charm is actually pretty low. I'm gonna risk it. How much you want to bet, she's still gonna charm you. So I'm about to say, don't you do it. I want to keep them away from Lucian. They keep coming near him. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, the extra damage is out of the way. I should definitely be able to do this with a sacrifice of a few of my characters, you know? <laughs> hey, it's worth it, okay? Leave me alone. There's, there's no death runs in here, and I am on the edge. Yeah, you guys just just punch the crap out of everybody. Oh, hold on. Hold on a sec. Get your ass down here. Stay down there. Don't move. You you guys just stay right there. Damn it. Ah, uh, hold on. 
Hold on, 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 hold on. If that's the case, I'm just gonna do it like this. And next turn, I can drain both, as long as nobody does anything fucking stupid. Oh, oh, oh! He actually lined up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All the others, hey, dear God, we got it. We're good. I was gonna an igneous just suicide bomb, but yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Not doing this with light team. I no, I'm good. Don't don't feel like it. Now then. The full fire team is what I'm going to do for the last one. Fire. I actually have another friend who um, started to build. Wait. They t oh, these bastards. They legit. I was about to say they legit took all my Laharls. I was about to say, I have a friend that built Laharl to 75 and got his stuff maxed out. Oh boy, you guys would have never heard the end of it if it wasn't there. Alright, so what we're going to do here... Should we do... Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Normally don't do this strat, but... Hey. Whatever works. Obviously, fire is way easier than the water one. The water one's just such a headache. I'll figure it out later. If you guys know any like effects I can use on a um, Dalga up here, that'd be lovely. Because that man's annoying. And my Noctis is not uh, 75. If he was 75, he could easily destroy the hell out of him. Okay. I have the, a little bit of a gist of what I can do. I can also come over here and destroy these guys. Or, yeah, I can destroy these guys. I can hit the um, demon too. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and summon them. How much does that take off? Okay, that would be 60, right? Charge up. Turn this way. Go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Turn down all their stats and keep going. Yeah. We'll like that stack a few times. We're gonna get hit by divine, but we should be fine because I don't think they're gonna move. As long as I don't. Today is gonna be troublesome because this guy is in the way, and I need to go up there and heal him, obviously. And I can't heal him from here, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, nope. Me, not me. Um, I might need jewels. Yeah, I'm gonna just get some jewels here. So I can use his master ability, if anything. If I get in a point where I need it. But they are gonna aim for the Harl. Obviously. Ah, which is troublesome. But, we're fine. For now. For now. <laughs> I'm surprised I can actually reach there. So, actually, we're going to do this. Oh, actually, no. Let's do this. I can't wait for Catanova to be farmable. I'm going to definitely max the hell out of him.
actually gonna come over here and get rid of this thing so that's just gonna be really annoying all right then yeah I like this <laughs> Got rid of one of the troublesome people, but this one obviously is still alive. He's gonna come down and kill that Laharl, but it's it's fine. We have another one. I still hate the fact that this is a freaking multiplay dungeon for her um, stuff. That that is what really annoys me. Oh, you chose to steal his? You piece of shit! How dare you! And he dodged. You, you piece of crap. How dare you. There we go. What you doing? No. Stop it. I might want to heal, actually. Just in case we do get in a situation where these guys might do something random. Yeah, I figured you were to come over here and do something. Thank God I did make that choice. Come over here. Okay. Uh, go ahead and lower his stats again. He shouldn't do too much damage off that. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for them all to come over here. Now I'm just going to master ability. But the thing is that he's going to try and um, daze. So I need to use an... So I'm going to need a unit that's out of the way. Or a unit that can take the hit and get rid of his jewels. Oh yeah, he chose to do that. Yep, he chose to do what I thought he was going to do. And we're basically screwed. Yay! Really? I guess I'll just charge up again. You can't stop me from doing that now. And we're just going to defend him. Really annoying. Obviously, I'm just using Gladys' tank right now. Alright, we're just gonna lower their agility at this point. There we go. Too bad his um, stuff is gone here, but I'm gonna do Dimension instead. And there we go. We got the crit off that, so we got lucky. <laughs> and we got the fire done. Now we gotta do it without mercenary and a water team. Which I'll... I'll probably run this again. And... Get the no mercenary run. Then... I'll pretty much just do a water... Water run with a Noctis that has a... Um, Let's see, hold up. I knocked this with... Yeah, combat magic. Just because of this. 
That's probably the easiest way you guys are going to kill him. Now, plus, I'm pretty sure this guy has reflection. Yeah, he has reflection. Now, reflection and mental. And, uh. Not mental. Uh. Divine shelter could be actually a good combo, too. But this guy chose to do this and lower some of his magic, which is fine because Noctis has, like, huge amount of magic for no reason. To the point where he can just tank a lot of things. Most of the time, he. I. End up seeing him tank a lot of magic. Yeah, pretty decently high. You can replace it with that if you want to. If I wanted to, I could do this. Just for the extra damage and everything. For the whole crew. And I realized I don't have my um, bear on this. Oh, I gave it to you. I don't know why I did that, but alright. So obviously I'm going to run this team and see how it goes. Should I just do that right now on this video? And you know what? Screw it. Why not? It's not like it's the end of the world or anything. I'm actually going to take Shammy as leader this time. We're going to keep the time speed. The only reason I'm taking Shammy as leader is just for that normal damage. And Noctis pretty much increases damage on that. The reason we're taking Michael is just because Michael really saves us from that annoying and i do mean like a really annoying um effect from magnus to where he just dazes and can screw us over all right so obviously my character is more of risk now uh this is the other character the teammate we brought in so i might come over here and try and kill some of these wolves. But then again, they'll kill themselves on Noctis. So if anything, I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to increase the magic on mine. I figured because... You're going to outspeed. There we go. So, yeah, these wolves outspeed. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually very annoying. Like... It's so random when it comes to charge time, but this Noctis has a um, shell, shell charge. Yeah, so his is going to be faster automatically, so he's way stronger for that. Can I hit from here? I think I can. Hiya, bitch. All right. So now, obviously, we're going to lose out on all that damage, unfortunately. But like I said, our counters are going to be killing these wolves. Yeah, the demon's probably going to move, unfortunately. And this is where we're going to vaccine. And we got to play it safe when it comes to the two that are going to summon themselves. Hopefully, the demon doesn't move, but I'm pretty sure he's going to move. Yep, yeah, because it's the demon. Yep, he's gonna do it again. The demon's like hitting the same target for some reason. Which is odd. Alright, so here we go. I'm actually gonna do something different here. Since this guy is the main, main trouble of us. We have to kill him. No ifs, hands, or buts about it. We have to kill him. So I gotta save this character. But I have quite an idea with him of what I wanna do. So, Ultima, I'm gonna need you to increase him. I'm gonna need you to stand next to him and give him that extra damage. 
There we go. That's fine, we're gonna counter. This guy's gonna come down here and try to steal some jewels. Which, oh, or not, alright. What if, bro? Do your own thing. So what we're gonna do here is they already have a vaccine on them. I don't know how many turns it's been though. I think it's been like two turns. We're gonna give my Noctis the physical increase since he's gonna be playing decoy for a while. Yeah, like I said, they like attacking the same one for some reason. Odd addiction, though. So now the damage increase is going to be really, really troublesome. But here's what we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to nuke down Magnus annoying self. That's not going to do much, but just annoy me. And if he chooses to do greed, he's just going to run straight into us. So, that's fine. Oh, he chose a different approach from greed. Oh, wow. Did he take the jewels from him to the point where he couldn't do anything? Oh, that's actually very annoying. So, this character... Oh my god, I hate him. I'm impressed, though. That, that actually worked. <laughs> I can't say anything else for you guys. That, that was actually really smart. <laughs> but he's going to be a really, really annoying <sighs> character for this. Oh, this is going to be annoying. He's already on a move. That's fine. Yeah, okay, I can still use attacks. Oh, well, oh, never mind. It seems like I got both of them. Yep, days and that annoying effect. Let's get that crap off. Yeah, and I don't think this guy can be affected by much. Which kind of makes this even more annoying, if anything. They could be affected by poison, but yeah. You know. I'm trying to find. Where is it? Yeah, I know that won't work. Eh. I guess we'll just be fine with vaccining. Because we really don't need any more annoying effects going on. He'll just still be attacking Chammy. Or nah, he'll decide to get bored and just go down here. Good thing we gave him that attack boost. It's gonna do a little bit more damage. And let's go ahead and... Hold on. Can we, um... No, we can't. See, this guy is, like, really dangerous. I'm actually going to save Jules here. And we're gonna ultimate him. We can't let him live. Like, that's actually going to be really annoying. Hopefully he doesn't kill, but I'm pretty sure he will. Oh. Oh my god, he's gonna bombard. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Come on now. Really? Bombard out of everything? Please don't kill. He's definitely gonna kill because he got that freaking charge from Dalga. He's feeling, he's feeling real bomby right now. Yeah, and his turn's not going to go down. Oh, you're going to put it right there. Okay, thank God you lived. You lived, you beautiful bastard. But, now we got over here. And that's... What the fuck, bro? How? 
Okay. What ifs? <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. So, obviously, I'm going to just... How many people do we have? Okay. So, we'll have a few turns together. I'm going to do this. We might be a low on jewels after this, but once we get this man to where we can actually kill him, I think we'll be fine. We're going to actually give him this to give him some more attack. For when he does this. Okay, there we go. Got it. Just because the attack increased. Now Dalg is going to try and kill these two, which is going to be very unfortunate. <sighs> Just because he has some pretty decent movement for some reason. As a tank. Yep. As a tank. Gonna try and distract him here. Now he's gonna use that. The more jewels he uses, the better. Oh, that's annoying. It's not gonna do much damage, but. I, I freaking wish we'd do this. <laughs> wish we could do that too. Alright, now that he's poisoned, he's probably going to use the... Um, the whole brawler thing to get rid of it. Or is he going to... Oh, you know, he's going to stick with the poison. He's going to aim for Ultima. Okay, that actually works in our favor. Do we have an... No, okay, no, we don't. I was about to say, do we have enough? Good, 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 good. Please, for the love of God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> We're done with the water run. Thank... God, guys, we made up for it. We made up for it. Jesus. No, we have to do a run without mercenary. Jeez. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run like my own normal team without mercenary. <laughs> Fuck running those um, elemental teams. So yeah, we did everything but these two. I'm not doing this one. So yeah, I got this to do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was pretty much my progress on the event. But yeah, like I said last time, uh, last episode was pretty much just a test to see what I can do and what I can't do. So I can actually think of a strategy of how to do things. And somehow these runs worked out in like <laughs> my first time trying it. I won't even lie. I did not really practice on these two. But I did practice like hell on this one just because the whole Mandrake thing was annoying. And we figured out a way to get past that. But... These, I just spitballed and somehow got through with a few ideas in my head, thankfully. Uh, the, only time, the only runs I did inside of these were last video, so yeah, I, gra I gathered a lot from those, thankfully. So yeah, that was fun and excruciating. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. So much to do. It's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got.
got to lose.